pages tutorial so this is just a, a basic very basic pages tutorial and it's getting to know pages it's pretty much like my getting to know numbers tutorial if you've not seen that I'll um, put the link on the screen for you right now so yeah this is getting to know pages tutorial and when I've opened pages I've gone either file or new or press new document and I've got this choose a template view now you can prevent it from doing this and I'll show you how we do this in the settings however it is quite a good view that you that, that you might want to um, that you might want to use and start and start employing and um, so we're just going to select blank for, for today's but let me just quickly quickly show you you can either select them on the left hand side what type of sort of template that you want you can also download download other free templates as well but you can you, you just choose on the side what template or you can scroll through and choose what sort of template that you want to choose if you want to write a letter you can choose the style of letter that you want to write same as for cvs or resumes um, envelopes and business cards and all sorts of stuff flyers posters newsletters all sorts of good stuff and um, I, I would say you know if, if you want to sort of make newsletters then sort of use one of the templates and change it to suit your needs because they are very professionally laid out and very well laid out in good order so just today because it's the, the, the sort of basic very introduction to pages we're just going to choose blank document and select so highlight blank document and select this choose okay so once we've opened pages you get this view as I've got here yours might not look exactly like this per se and that's purely because I've just got mine on full screen mode so you can use full screen and minimize or drag the screen size down using the, the, the three little buttons close um, full screen and, and not full screen um, right there as, as normal so let's look at the um, let's concentrate on the view that we've got across this toolbar across the top on the left hand side we've got our view now we um, once we, we we select something it opens and it stays open until you close it with this in the same way that you opened it so we've got page thumbnails right here we could also hide or show our comments we can show find and replace so if you want to find something within the document you can find replace whole words and um, pretty much you, you like you would do with word or with a word document um, we can hide or show our ruler we can hide or show our comments and we've got our word count right here so we can hide or show our word count at the bottom um, and there's a there's a few options that you can do without character spacing with character spacing paragraphs or whatever page and there's a few options that you can do there so um, let's hide our hide our comments so working across we go to zoom here it will just default to 125 percent you can fit width or fit page um, here we just go to our insert and this is where we just do our sort of basic word document or document sort of um, basics where page break section break column breaks page numbers and all that good stuff here is where we would just insert default tables and um, so you start off if you want to insert a table with a default table and then you edit that table to suit you yourself so if you want a specific type of table select table scroll through the default tables and choose the one that best suits and edit it to suit your needs just remove that Likewise with the charts, we've got 2D charts, varying 2G, 2D charts, 3D charts, and interactive charts, and they're very easy to manipulate and change the order of within the um, format inspector, which I'll show you later on. Text, this is not text, this is text box, so if you select this, it will open up a text box for you. Again, shape, we've got our default sort of shapes and colors, and that you select the ones that you want, or you can indeed draw with a pen your own shape, and then edit it in the format inspector um, to suit your needs. Media, we can add our own photos, our own music, and our own movies from sort of various places, wherever we've got them stored. And then comments, you can add, add or show the comments. Something that's sort of um, quite new with the, the, uh, the, the new OS X, um, Yosemite is sharing via um, link or via cloud and you can share in various ways the document that you've created across mail messages airdrop Twitter Facebook or even LinkedIn or whatever other social networking or application you've got linked to your iTunes or your Apple ID the tips here just bring up yellow tabs across everything that you do within the uh, within the view so once you've got good at at pages you know what you're doing I would suggest turning it off so you haven't got these yellow tabs all over your page however it does show you some good coaching tips okay if we go to our top toolbar 
across the top we've got file and it's just very basic word document stuff um, I know I keep saying word or pages document stuff new open open recent generally I find that people are converting to pages from word so they're going from Microsoft to Mac um, or to Apple and then they want to embrace everything that comes with it and personal opinion pages is as good as word it has some functionality that word doesn't word has some functionality that pages doesn't and you can make them work together quite well anyway um, in my daily life at home life I use pages and I use iWork in my work I use Microsoft products and they um, cross pollinate quite well Okay, you can set passwords here as well, and likewise, you can also in within the file tab, you can also save templates. So if you want to, if you go think back at the start when I was showing you the template, if you've created a document that you think is worthy of a template and that you want to open it from the start, then you do that option here. Edit again, it's very document, very basic document orientated, as is insert format pretty much the same as well you can it sort of um, follows the, the, the formats across the, the the top tab in the menu bar right here um, and also arrange again you can sort of arrange your media that you've imported in certain ways your view you've got your inspector and you can just do the, the, the basic sort of things that you would be able to do anyway and again we go back to the share window is minimize zoom bring all to the front and you can you can scroll through your windows there and as with all Apple products if I was going to um, if I was struggling for for how to do something I wanted to show colors for instance I start typing it if you start typing it generally correct it will um, it will help you out so I want to show colors I highlight over show colors and it will show me the path that I need to do to solve the problem that I've got which is um, which is really good it doesn't do it for everything but if it's there it does do it so just make sure if you struggle just make make use of that help functionality because it is quite cool okay so let's go over to our um, our format so over here, if we um, if I select this format tab right here, it will become grayed out, and which means it's it's active. Likewise with the document, if I select or deselect the document, it becomes active. Now with the document, let's just start. If I've got my document selected, here's where I can choose my printers. I can choose my page or document size or style. Um, I can choose my page orientation from landscape to. Um, to, to normal mode, I've got header and footer. My um, the, the the width or or the sizes of the header and footer are very easily changed, like so. Um, that was on 1.25, I do believe. And we've also got the margins as well, which can change hyphenation and lig ligatures. Um, our section, it just insert page number in, so you can go page one of one, page or one of one and various ways and likewise with the sections you can do more when you start editing um, and start adding sort of text to your document okay let's go to format so here's where all um, all our all our documents or all our formatting works if I was going to type let me show it start from the top we've got our our basic um, predefined formatting which you can change or paragraph styles which you can change to suit your document if I was going to put a put a header in within my document and I, or let's let's say a title because that's what it's called and I wanted this title to be the basic formatting what we've got here I would select the title type formatting and it would change the font and the the, the boldness italicness and the character styles and the alignment to suit whatever is in the, um, the the paragraph styles right there Now it's quite easily changed if I wanted to change the font say for instance I drop down and change a font to um, arrow rounded empty bold and I wanted all of my titles to maintain this paragraph style or this style I would just select this update button right here so now whenever I changed some text if I wanted it to be in the title formatting I would just select title and it would take on that form likewise with the text if I was going to select body and I was going to type type something something on the page um, and this is the I, I wasn't happy with this formatting of this body style I could easily change it so if I wanted to I wanted all my body text to be in arrow 
um, then I would change it to arrow and I would update it like so. And every time I typed and used that formatting, that's the font and the style of font and the size of font that it would take on, it would take that form. So that's quite self-explanatory. As we work our way down, we've got regular bold italic, bold italic as normal. You can change just certain parts of it it gives you the option to update. So now do you want your body to always be bold? I don't want to update it, I'm gonna ignore it. And I'm gonna carry on typing like so, but it's gonna continue with, um, with that format unless I change it back to the body style and then it will go back to normal. You noticed it all went back to normal. So if I wanted then something to be in bold, I'd then have to bold it afterwards. Okay, so that's quite self-explanatory as well. Likewise with italic and underlined. The little settings wheel here, the advanced options, you can change the character spacing, the baseline, um, catalyzation, ligatures, you can outline, strike through and shadow, and you can character fill if you've got any characters in there as well. With the colors, if I wanted to change the color of this text right here, I would select the color wheel, and there's various ways I could just select the buttons on the color wheel. Um, and if I wanted to change that to red, I would just select red, and then I would um, deselect and carry on working with whatever I was working, and it would work in normal for me, it wouldn't work in red. Character styles, you can link italic um, emphasis, strike through, and line, and, and red and stuff right there in your basic character styles. Your alignment, obviously you can change your alignment, and you notice I get this little update button, so now do I want all my bodied text to align to the center. Um, no, I don't, so I'm just gonna carry on as normal. Um, likewise, with the um, with, with, with all the alignment, you can do it in various ways, and this will just tab you across, so, um, so it gets you to where you want to be. Um, the spacing, the character spacing, or the line spacing, the, the paragraph spacing is all editable right here, and the bullets and alignments, if you want to add bullets, I now want bullets, um, bullet points to be inserted. You could have text bullets, or you could have image bullets, and then you change the, the, the images like so. Um, and it is very self-explanatory, numbered bullets, and you can change the number sequences like so. It is very self-explanatory, and if you're looking at what you want to do, it is, um, like I said, it is, it is very easy to follow. If we go into our layout tab, our layout will change our columns, so we can change our column sizes. Our indents, we can change the way our indents are all set up. Our tabs and our borders and rules, if, we've, if we're putting in um, sort of shapes or, or, um, or tables. Um, on the more, we can just do our sort of our breaks and our alignment, our hyphenation, ligation, or ligatures, and our um, our paragraph styles. We can set all here, so everything is quite self-explanatory. And that is, as you're looking at the screen, that is pages in a um, in a very quick broad brush sort of um, outline. There's lots of things that you can do. Is it as good as Word? Yes, I believe it is as good as Word. Um, it does more than Word. It, it, I think it's more user-friendly than Word, but Word operates better than Pages in some instances. And so it, it has its pros and cons. Does it work well with Word? Yes, it does work well with Word. However, um, I would suggest if you're gonna if you're gonna open up a Pages document within Word and vice versa, if you're gonna open up a, a Word document within Pages, the formatting um, dependent on the document and, and the intricacy of the document, the formatting can sometimes be a bit of a problem. But you generally, if you spend a little bit of time, you can generally work it out. Um, as and when I, I, I see fit, I'll, I will obviously update the, the pages sort of stuff and, and try and do do um, more more um, more advanced user tasks, tasks, if you like. So I hope this helps you out and um, I hope the music's not too loud as well. Catch you soon.